Chip. Dip. Three, two, one. Chicken. Hey team, it's Justin here from Yao Media. Um, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here today, uh, I'm a food videographer based here in Christchurch, New Zealand. Um, and yeah, today we're going to be talking about the wee little snippet you just saw, which was a small section of a commercial shoot I did for a fried chicken restaurant based right here in Christchurch. You should come. You should all come after this whole COVID thing stops. Just, just get on a one-way flight get over here and, and, and try some chicken. So back to the purpose of why you're watching today. Uh, today we're going to be talking about how to take your food videography to the next level. So in true Yao Media fashion, I'm going to be explaining how to take your videos to the next level uh, in three simple steps, all starting with the letter P. I like alliteration as you can tell. Um, so the first P is purpose. The second P is planning, and the third P is actually precision. So purpose predicates everything. I think it's really important uh, on a commercial level that you understand the purpose of the content you're creating. So when Empire Chicken approached me about this video, they basically saw a previous um, video that I did for a bunch of other food companies. I think there were about six food companies involved in this shoot where we got a uh, pretty cool um, pull away shot of a charcuterie board um, of all this incredible food uh, low down on a slider track um, with the Lauer 24 millimeter probe lens, uh, which is a perfect tangent to our sponsors of today's video. Uh, Photo Gear, based here in New Zealand, have two stores, Ponsonby and uh, North Shore, and uh, they were kind enough to send me the 24mm Lauer Probe Lens as well as the Zeepin Micro 2 M600 slider paired with the Zeepin Micro 2 E600 um, motor for the slider. So uh, without them, this video and this whole shoot would be pretty much impossible so um, massive thank you to them more about them later on and, and more about the gear later on because I think that's where I, I talk about precision um, and also planning but anyways back to the purpose back to the purpose so so purpose is really 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 important um, they they wanted that they had a vision and and they wanted me to materialize that vision into fruition so so at the end of the day um, it's about understanding what your client wants and they wanted that look uh, so I said, okay, sweet, let's, let's, let's try and pull this one off. And so in order to achieve this shot, I needed two things. I needed perspective and I needed movement. So the perspective side came in with the Lauer Pro Blends. I think between the burger and the chicken, there was probably 10 to 15 centimeters clearance. And, um... I had to look at my current gear list and go, do I have what it takes to make this happen with my existing gear? And the answer was no. I think at the time I only had a 16 to 35 F4 uh, that was way too large in diameter alone. And so that wouldn't have done the shot justice, especially if we wanted that really immersive look. So that's where the probe lens was a very specialty lens, uh, which was super helpful but it wouldn't be used for every shoot. So the next thing was movement. So yes, let's say I did have the probe lens. What, what then? Could I do it handheld? Would that be feasible? And I think to some capacity, yep, maybe. Maybe if I was sort of lying on the floor and, and lying on a mat and someone were to pull the mat away. Uh, it's ridiculous. It's not professional. doesn't look great. So you, you, you really got to gotta show up with the right gear to impress your client and to get the job done in a timely manner. Speaking of time, I think another aspect of planning is making sure that you can pull off what you need to in a timely fashion. This is where the motorized side of the Zeepin slider system was really, really helpful because the motor was able to deliver uh, consistent quality results accurately and reliably. And I think that's really, really important when it comes to um, delivering a project 
in a way that doesn't waste the client's time or doesn't waste your time as well because at the end of the day um, you've only got so much time to deliver and produce uh, what you're commissioned to so yeah this is this is really where this this dual package was was the perfect combo in order to pull off the purpose so we've covered purpose we've covered planning and now it's about precision <laughs> Really, I think I've talked about precision a little bit already uh, with the Zpin slider, and um, it's something that I think I could go into way more detail with the app, but I didn't. I just used the uh, inbuilt buttons on the uh, slider itself to help to automate the movement for me, and being able to do it precise did two things. The first thing it did was it allowed me to achieve in and out points that were um, to the dime exactly where I wanted it to and the second reason and probably more importantly was the fact that I was able to be hands-free while doing all of this as a freelancer you're probably a one-man band or one-woman band and um, it's often really really hard to focus on the technical aspect of your craft while at the same time exercising creative authority and autonomy over what you're doing um, and many more have zoomed <laughs> alright team so I'll let you know when we're rolling recording rolling in 3 2 1 chip dip 3 2 1 chicken cool so it's really really important as freelancers that we carry ourselves um, to a higher standard uh, especially if the marketing budget only allows for one person on set which is most likely going to be you and so that's where the automation of the slider was really really helpful came in clutch and allowed me to uh, do my craft solo basically so yeah Altogether, I think this was a really successful shoot. Um, the client was really happy with the final product and uh, it couldn't have been achieved without the help of uh, Zpin um, and the sliders as well as the Lauer probe lens. Some final thoughts on the actual products themselves is the fact that I think starting with the Zpin slider uh, i was trying to get some tilt and pan movement uh, in corroboration with the sliding movement and this was a lot harder than i thought um, it's a lot easier when you increase the speed to level three uh, but on level one when it's sort of tracking in a matter of 20 30 seconds it's really hard to consistently pan up or pan down and time it exactly right so. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I like pull away like I'm waiting for like, oh, just reaction. Oh, Alright, let me just. You can't even tell what you're going to make. Yeah, because it's sort of so blurry. There's the soul. Oh, Here's the. Oh, I'm not just going to look at it. Right? <laughs> so. Uh, this is where I think a bit of R&D would be awesome and I think Zpin is definitely working on something coming out hopefully this year we'll, we'll see what happens but it would be cool to see a motorized tilt and pan um, kind of accessory that was modular to the uh, to the slider um, as we know it yeah but otherwise it's a it's a fantastic uh, product with professional quality at a more price uh, sensitive and, and uh, attainable price point for for the for the hungry and starving freelancer. As for the Lauer probe lens, I think it's a really specialist item. It's not for everybody. It's not something that you'd bring on your next travel trip, um, but it is <laughs> definitely something uh, that you would uh, want to bring if your client wanted a very particular look, uh, really polished, really commercial, um, and uh, really immersive. And I think immersive is the, is the key one here with the probe lens. Um, Ultimately, uh, it's uh, it's something that has a lot of question marks attached to it. You know, you don't know how good it's going to be unless you try it. And um, the guys over at Photo Gear are really, really helpful in helping um, consumers like you and I uh, make that decision or um, 
maybe discourage making that decision and recommending a better product uh, better suited for the job so super transparent super honest so once again thank you photo gear for sponsoring this video if you like what you saw today and want to see more feel free to subscribe uh, more than happy to help with any further questions you might have just leave me a comment below and as always uh, thanks for watching and i'll see you next time